Ah. Well, hello. I'm Jim Femino, for those of you who don't know me. Lifelong musician and uh, professional songwriter for the majority of my 67 years. You know, I've been sitting down thinking about uh, the fact that our industry has been decimated by the, you know, the big corporations who remain nameless, but who have taken all the value away from our work and have turned a, a business that used to be of pennies now into thousandths of a penny, making it nearly impossible to make a living as a songwriter. But I woke up this morning and uh, listening to all my friends, you know, just crying online and you know, saying that, well, they're going to have to give up and go do something else. But uh, I woke up and I heard this poem, lyric, whatever you want to call it in my head, and I wrote it down literally as I woke up this morning, and I wanted to share it with you, all of you. It's called God Bless the Songwriter, and it goes like this. Every song is a story and a blessing an answer to a songwriter's prayer, an emotion or feeling verbalized to share with the world in hopes that by sharing and proclaiming, this is how I feel, he or she may find that they are not alone in their life experiences and struggles, and in some small way may help to lighten the burden of the listener by putting into words and music what the listener could not put into words and music for themselves. You know, a song is like a salve on the soul of all humanity. Indeed, a prayer answered. First for the writer through the act of creation, then for the listener upon hearing it. God bless the songwriter, for he or she practices an ancient art form that even King David himself spent the better part of his life practicing in hopes that the wisdom the good Lord shared with him and through him might fall upon the ears of those less fortunate souls who were and are still unable to hear the voice themselves that directs the writer's hand into creating something from nothing through divine intervention. So truly I say to you, God bless the songwriter, for he or she is a messenger bringing hope, love, and the word of God to those who have ears to listen, even if they are unaware of the source of their oral ecstasy. Amen, I say unto you, God bless the songwriter. I'm Jim Femino, and I hope this puts a smile on your face if you are a writer of any kind and you're feeling as if you might have to give up the ghost. Don't do it. You have a gift and what you have to say needs to be heard by the world because one little thing that you say may be an enormous blessing on somebody else's life, even if you don't know who that person is. So anyway, I'm Jim Femino. Thanks for listening. I hope you're having a blessed day, and I will see you for the next one. Bye.